You got here. Good. All right. So we're going to continue in our Common Mistakes Agents Make mini-series. As you know, I'm Lynn Hamilton, your lead instructor here, bringing you the good, the bad, and the ugly sometimes. So this tip, tip number 19 of Common Mistakes That Agents Make, is being unwilling to educate their clients. This includes understanding or helping them understand the logic and the power behind the process that they're going to be getting ready to go through. This is why having mastered your buyer and seller and even the renter consultation will save you a lot of time, energy, and aggravation. And yes, we are working on revamping the buyer and seller consultation for you guys to, un to understand the science and the logic behind it. So the buyer and seller consultation, in my opinion, should always be done. Even you go, but I know them, they know me, I don't need to do this. Still get it, print it, and give it to them. Because they may take a look at it. More than likely, they will. You need to understand that as an agent, everybody learns in a different way. They're either visual, where they need to see it, they need to hear it, which means you're telling them or recapping to them what's on the, the highlights of the paper, and or they're kinesthetic or all of the above, they need to have it in their hand. They need to hear it, see it, feel it, experience, and all of those things come together. I always laugh, sometimes out loud, in their face, not always, but sometimes I do. Um, when an agent comes to me with a problem or a challenge they're having with a client, and I'm thinking, that's a no-brainer, that's an easy fix, that should have been addressed during a buyer consultation or a seller consultation. And I'll ask, did you do a buyer consultation or the seller consultation with them? Well, no, but I told them. Really? Really? You told them? That was the best you got? That is usually when I start laughing. Because you've, they've got lots of information coming at them. They are not going to remember it all. That is why the value and the importance of having it in writing where they can refer back to it and you can reference back to it if you need to and your unwillingness to educate your clients. Okay, member, you've always given me permission to be blunt and honest with you, tell you what you need to know, not always what you want to hear. You've also given me permission to hear my heart. Here it comes. Uh-oh. Don't say uh-oh. Yes, say uh-oh. Most of the time, the problems that pop up were created by you. Ooh, I know, I'm sorry. But a lot of this stuff could have been avoided. The frustration that they're going through and the frustration you are going through. So your buyer consultation and your seller consultation has evolved out over time. It is a fluid breathing component that will flex with information based off your market area, your area of specialty, what the market is doing. But it's important that it does have a place of verbal and physical presence. So, with that one, common mistake number 19 is agents not being willing to educate their clients on the process and what needs to be done as you work through it together. Hmm. Think about that one. More to come. I'll talk to you soon. Gotta go. Bye. <laughs>